Hello everyone, Jay Dartmoor, Dark Fantasy and Horror Writer here, uh, going to review The Last House of Needless Street by Katarina Ward. I think that's how you say her name. I have seen a lot of people reading this book and I was recommended it by a friend, so I thought, okay, uh, I will buy it and I will see what it's like. So, um, is a psychological thriller told from multiple points of view. It is 363 pages and I think it's a standard novel size, so about 90,000 to 100,000 words, which for a thriller, a little bit long, um, but generally not too far out the whole thriller comfort zone. So first of all, what did I think of the book? So the book is quite a slow burner. It is told, like I said, from a multiple point of view standpoint. And the tale starts of the disappearance of a child. And the story is then shown through the eyes of, of the protagonist. Then it's told through the eyes of his cat. And then it's told through the eyes of a young child. And then it's also told by another character in a separate storyline who is the sister of the child who went missing. So we have two different storylines here. So we have the main character and their own conflictions and characters which are um, going along with them. And then we have this side story here, of which is the other character trying to find out the mystery of how her sister went missing. The story starts off quite gripping and it is a good read. The story has an undertone of mental health issues. I don't want to spoil anything, but that is quite prevalent throughout the story, which of course makes sense later on. I'm not sure why the author decided to write it like this. Um, it does work. However, in my opinion, it took way too long to get going. There was a lot of build-up uh, and not much of a payoff either. And then the conclusion was over and done with before you really understood what was happening uh, and why the story ended up the way it did in the first place. I found that I was forcing myself to carry on reading to get through to the good bits and I also felt that a lot of the parts of the story were quite unneeded and were quite confusing uh, and could have been edited out however this could have been to reflect the chaotic mindset of the character in general and thus it was quite intentional however I, I personally didn't think it worked for me it wasn't a terrible read it was a decent read there were some good plot twists but for me it was more the style which the story was written in um, and it was more the very lacklustre ending what I personally felt. So in conclusion, uh, The Last House on Needless Street, Katarina Ward, hey you said the name right, um, I would give it three out of five stars. I would definitely recommend it. If you like thriller and you like mystery stories with a theme of mental health issues prevailing throughout the story, then yeah, I would definitely give it a read. Um, but for me, uh, I enjoyed it. It was okay. Uh, three out of five stars. So I hope that helps to anyone who wants to read uh, The Last House on the Other Street. And if you have a story which you'd like me to read, you have a story which you'd like me to uh, give a review on, then please let me know, inbox me a comment or however you want to do, just let me know uh, and I'll be happy to oblige. Thank you very much. As always, mwah, see you later.